In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Robot C uh, program to set up any programming that you're going to do for any of the tasks involved with the test bed, the dragster, or the clawbot once you get that built. So first of all, I'm going to check a couple things. I'm going to go up to the Robot menu at the top once you have the program open. And you want to make sure that the platform type is correct. It should be set at VEX 2.0 Cortex. VEX Robotics should also have a black dot next to VEX 2.0 Cortex. And then Natural Language PLTW should be checked. Once you have those things checked, then you can go ahead and open up a new sample program by going to the File menu, Open Sample Program, and then find the PLTW folder and the PLTW template file within that folder. Double click to open. You can see it has some information in green here for you to fill out for uh, your particular program, project title, team members, date, section, which is your class period, task description, and then pseudocode. These can all be typed in uh, later once we get the initial program file set up. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and go into my motor sensor setup section and make sure that I have everything set up that I need to for those areas. I click on the motor and sensor setup and I have three tabs that I need to check. The motors, analog sensors, and digital sensors. And I need to add in the devices that I have plugged into the VEX Cortex. Into port 1, for the motors, I have a write motor. So I type in the word, all one word, no capitals. And the type of motor is VEX 393 motor. In port 10, I type in the other motor, and we'll call it left motor. And the type of motor is also VEX 393 motor. Go to my next tab over and put in my analog sensors. My first analog sensor is a line follower, so I type in line follower, all one word, no capitals, and that is a line follower sensor into input number two I have a potentiometer so I will abbreviate that with POT for short and the type of sensor is potentiometer. Go ahead and go to my next tab and in my next tab under the digital one port I have a limit switch L-I-M-I-T-S-W-I-T-C-H no spaces, no capitals. Type of sensor is touch. Underneath digital 2 or within digital 2 port, I have a bump switch. And the type is also a touch sensor. And then way down into digital 12, I have an LED. And the type of sensor is VEX LED. Now I have the seven items plugged into my Cortex all set up within my program. When I click OK, you can see that it develops these pragma statements, seven of them, which tells the program where these items are connected onto your Cortex. To go ahead and set up a very simple program just to test your motors, I'm going to go ahead and open up my natural language commands. <clears throat> I'm going to first use commands within the movement folder and as you know the curly braces that I have here one facing right the other facing left all of my programming commands need to be within those curly braces so I'm going to go ahead and drag the start motor command over first underneath the first curly brace on line 26 I'm then going to change the word motor port to right motor just as I did in the motor and sensor setup. And I'm going to change the speed to 127, which is full speed for our VEX 393 motors. I'll use the down arrow to move down. Now I'm going to wait, so I'll choose a wait time from the wait menu. And we're going to let the motor run for three seconds, so I change the word wait time to the number three. 
move down to line 28 and then I want the right motor to stop so I will drag the stop motor command and change that to right motor that's the motor that I want it want to stop <clears throat> next I'll move down to the next line in fact I'll skip a space move down to line 30 I now want to turn on left motor run it for three seconds so I drag start motor again onto line 30 change this to left motor all one word no capitals and change my speed to 127. Moving down a line, I'll use my wait time again. And again for three seconds. And then finally, I will use another stop motor command, although it would stop on its own at this point. I will put in a stop motor command here. just to be consistent with the command above. And now I've written my first program. To check to see if there's any problems with the program that I've set up, I'm going to go ahead and select Compile Program. No errors have shown up down here in the bottom window, so that's good. My next step would be to download to the robot. I can only do that when I have this connected to a test bed the test bed turned on and a connection with the USB port on the computer and the VEX Cortex. I'll save that for another video on showing you how to do that, but this is a simple way to get set up and get programming with Robot C.